I met Manu when a friend of mine from Finland um, was his nurse and uh, she had asked me um, to deliver something to him. He had left such a big impact on her. She had spoken to me a lot about him. Uh, when I went to see Manu for the first time, I was just a person delivering something. I did not expect to meet him. I was actually very worried about uh, meeting people who were going through such a tragic uh, situation. So I went with uh, a friend to, deliver, to drop off what I was supposed to deliver. I met his mother, Nadia, and was immediately touched by her warmth, her strength, and how she was able to smile. I was thinking the whole time, you know, this lady has just been through a very tragic um, experience, and she, wow, she must have a lot of faith to be able to, to, to go through this and be nice to people and be very hospitable, ask you what you want to drink, give you a hug, thank you very much for what you, what you brought. And then she asked me a question, she was like, would you like to meet Mano? And I was a bit, I was a bit, of course, worried. I, I mean, I didn't know the person. I didn't know what to say. How do you, how do you comfort somebody who's been through something so difficult? And um, she turned on the light. He was sleeping. She woke him up. Uh, he flashed me a very big smile. He, um, his voice was barely uh, audible because of uh, the tube that he had at the time. Um, and immediately. I started talking to him, of course, hi, how are you, I introduced myself. I think five minutes into the conversation, I really, um, sorry, I got emotional. Five minutes into the conversation, I made a friend. It was, it was very difficult for me to, um, to imagine, but I, I, made, I made a friend. He was, um, he had so much charm, he was very funny, he was incredibly funny. I mean, I, he was barely audible. But he was extremely, extremely funny and um, I left having made a new friend.